hello guys uh, welcome to my first ever tutorial today we're gonna be making a cinematic render using quicksilver mega scan assets and blender EV. so this is the final product that we're gonna be making uh, so without further ado uh, let's just get into it so we're gonna start with the default scene uh, delete the default cube as usual uh, but we're going to keep the default light Change the light to a sun lamp and set its strength to 100. Now we're going to go to the render settings and use EV of course. Set the samples to 100 and turn on ambient occlusion and bloom along with screen space reflections. Now we're going to move to the dimensions and we're going to set that to 1920 by 817 to give you that cinematic aspect ratio. Speaking of cameras, uh, set it to 50mm focal length and turn on depth of field. I'm going to set the f-stop to 0 0.3. Now go to the vault settings and we're going to add an HDRI. Uh, so I will leave the link for this HDRI image in the description so you can download it for free. Uh, let's just set that up and boom we are done with the preliminary setup. Now let's just open up a uh, Quicksilk Bridge. If you have an Epic Games account, it is absolutely free, so I highly recommend this software. It's got a lot of free assets, so go create an account, download it. And I've already downloaded some assets here, as you can see, like the statue and some rocks that I'm going to be using. Once you finish downloading them, just export them into Blender, and let's just wait for it. Once you finish exporting them, open Blender up. Make sure you get all the assets. We have all the assets and now it's just a matter of uh, copying and pasting them around, rotating them around to create this uh, enclosed space. And I'm just going to skip this part because it's just boring. And boom, here we have the final arrangement. I put a rock under the statue as you can see and there is an empty space uh, beneath it but that's fine because uh, it won't be in the camera view so it's completely fine you could duplicate the rock and fill that space up if you really want to but it's it's, it's up to your view uh, it's up to the camera settings that you're using uh, it depends on your scene now i'm just going to add a plane on top and bottom to control the lighting as you can see that we have only one opening from this hole and that is where the light shines through and speaking of which let's go to the shader editor and vault settings as you can see we have the hdri here and let me go to the render view you can see here the hdri is affecting the lighting of the scene and if you want to control the rotation here you need a mapping node and you can get that by pressing ctrl t if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled i have rotated the z axis to rotate the light as you can see now i've set it up in such a way that the light shines through the hole just like that and now you can set up the camera angle by pressing ctrl alt numpad 0 and I'm going to select the focus object as this statue so that the camera is always focusing the statue and uh, the sun lamp that we have created before uh, just make sure it's angled towards the, the the hole as well so that the lighting is consistent I've left the strength at 100 and gave it a very slight orange tint now if we go to the rendered view, uh, hold on a second. Now if we go to the rendered view, you can see that the light is shining nicely on the, on the statue. Now all we have to do is rotate uh, the sun lamp and you can create a really nice animation. Now all, all I did was just add some keyframes for the rotation of the lamp and boom. You can see that it's animating nicely now all that's left to do is animating the camera uh, which is pretty simple uh, to do that just create an empty object on top of the statue and uh, like so as you can see I have created it on top of the statue and now just drag the camera that you have and put it inside the empty object now if you rotate this empty object the camera is going to pan around that uh, let me show you uh, like so 
just like before, all I'm going to do is just keyframe the rotation and we have a really nice camera animation. It's pretty simple, guys. Just press I to create a keyframe uh, at the start and at the end, and that's it. Now, just one more step left. So uh, I'm going to create a cube uh, that is big enough to fill the entire scene. It should cover up the entire scene. And I'm going to create a new material Delete the principled BSDF and add a principled volume node. Now connect the volume to the volume node and if you render this now, hold on a second, you won't be able to see anything. That's because the density is too strong. Change the density settings to 0 0.0015 or something like that. And there you go. You have a really nice volumetric effect. Now you can you can play with uh, a couple of the settings here as you can see you have anisotropy you can change that you can play with the color as well but i highly recommend leaving the color alone you can you can add a color in the color grading later on in the post uh, so leave it at the default settings is what i would recommend but if you really want to change it for your scene it's up to you and that is pretty much it you can improve the quality of the fog uh, by changing the samples here as you can see uh, let's see you can see 64 in volumetrics you can make it 128 and set the tile size to 2 pixels as well and you can see it uh, the fog looks much better you will take a performance hit though so yeah uh, that's it that's pretty much it it's uh, pretty easy to make if you really enjoy the tutorial please leave a like and subscribe for more